Hey, welcome to UK Wild Crafts. So this is wild garlic, also known as Ramsons. You'll usually find these coming up in March, although you can find them as early as February. And you'll usually smell them before you see them. So if you walk for a patch of wild garlic, you'll get a really strong garlicky smell. They're quite easy to ID, so they're good for beginners. First of all, like I said, the smell, if you crush a leaf, really strong garlicky smell. And also, if you look at the back of the leaf, there's a single white vein, it's quite pronounced, running right down the middle of it. Also when the leaves are young, they're long and pointed like a spear tip and they broaden out as they get older. All parts of this plant are edible. The leaves have got quite a strong flavour. If you like a milder flavour, you can eat the, the buds of the uh, unopened flower buds and also the, for the flowers themselves you can just sprinkle into, into salads and you can also eat the bulbs as well. So that's what the unopened flower buds look like and they're really nice pickled and then the, the flowers usually open around April time and you get big white clusters of those flowers and this is the bulb of the wild garlic and you can just use those chopped up and used instead of garlic they've got a really strong flavour wild garlic likes to grow in big patches in woodlands and it likes shaded areas and it's a safe one to pick as long as you check for the smell. If it smells of really strongly of garlic, then it's safe to eat. And you also want to be quite careful when you're picking wild garlic, because this might all look like wild garlic here, but if you just grab in big handfuls of it, you could quite easily include something else. And you see that one there? That's a young arum lily. And that's an older one there. So just make sure you're picking out each leaf individually, just to be safe. Thanks for watching UK Wild Grass. So if you want to know what to do with all the wild garlic you've picked, then check out my video on what to make with wild garlic. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on foraging, bushcraft and wild food cooking.